Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and complete the pet house. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I've actually got the five uh, required bowls uh, that's uh, required to complete the uh, the pet house itself. Yeah, it's actually six, but you do get one on your first part of this new arc of the quest line uh, for the pet update. So we are still in update 4.0 and let's get into it here. So I've got the five. We've got one already in there. I've already completed the rest of my pet house. So let's just go ahead and finalize it. There we go. Done. Look at that. All right, how do we get out? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, there we go. I can get out this way. <laughs> I didn't realize I would, I'd actually um, locked myself in. That is funny. Okay, but anyway, let us... Um, can we actually interact with this? We cannot. So it's just this that we can interact with. Okay, what do we got? So pet house is empty. So you got the info on there. So uh, use baits to lure animals. List of uh, all baits in the uh, naturalist desk. Um, we've got the feeder here, so you can actually put f uh, food in here as well, so you can keep the uh, the pets, uh, you know, uh, happy and you know, and eating and all that sort of stuff. So you've got your standard meats, you got some raw turkey, and you got some tendered meat there. Now I haven't got any of the succulent ribs, uh, and then we've got a happy pork can. So that's actually definitely uh, something that's new. Um, so pets. Uh, uh, so, what, what is that word there? So, sadity. Okay, sadity. Um, okay, cool, so that only gives you 5, that gives you 7, that gives you 15, that gives you 75, so obviously that's going to be the best if you can get your hands on that. Um, so with this you've got the, um, so you've got 0 to 3000 uh, for the pets, uh, uh, the, the sanity, the, you've got the appetite, you've got the pets itself, um, and then you've got breeding. Okay, there you go, so this feature will be available uh, in one of the next updates. Okay, so we don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but um, That's all well and good. I'm happy with that. And if you guys want to upgrade um, The pets to the next level. This is what you're going to need um, So I've actually got half of that already. I can easily manufacture this and it's going to be this It's going to take a little bit longer for us to do so um, if you guys aren't aware, you need to head over to the old road when that uh, event actually pops up. And then that, that will allow you to go ahead and um, uh, try and get uh, your luck to get uh, one of those pet bowls. Alright, so the other thing I wanted to quickly run you guys through is um, the manufacturing side of things. So let's actually go into our workshops. There is the bait workbench here. It's not built. I think this is blocked off. Um, I tried looking around. Um, I tried looking into the production here. It's actually there now. Okay, so that's what it was. So with this, um, basically, before I had actually finished the um, uh, the pet house itself, uh, I wasn't actually able to uh, finish or sorry, create the um, the, uh, the bait workshop. It actually came up as as you guys had seen it just there at the bottom, um, you know, and it was mar it was masked out. So now we can actually build it, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and do that. Where do I want to put you? I guess for now, I'm just going to stick him there. There we go, and let's have a quick look. And that was part of the quest without even me looking at the um, at the quest side of things. Um, okay, so uh, a new friend, craft bait. Okay, cool. Now, actually, I did craft up some crackers for myself as well. So we do have that available to us. Let's go ahead and have a bit of a look. There we go. So I've got five of those. So if you guys want to craft up those bait, you're going to need this little fella here. And then this will be the cheapest way to... Um, uh, craft up some healing uh, for your pets as well. Okay, so that's the that's the cheapest one. Then you've got the one that's a little bit more expensive, and then so on and so forth. Okay, so this all depends on your pet, how much time you've invested in, how much HP it's got, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so let us head over to this. Okay, so because I ended up going with the links, um, I. Anyway, I, I went with the links, uh, so hopefully, <laughs> excuse me, hopefully we can um, 
uh, a tractor links or two. So we're going to craft up maybe a couple of those, right? 23 hours. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's going to be one. Okay. So it allows luring uh, lynxes up to level 15. So if I were to upgrade this, we can upgrade it. It's going to take a day or two for, for that to go through. So that's, um, so I can basically do that as well. Um, okay, cool. So honestly, let's just finish that. So we've got one of those with us. I'm going to have that on the cook just in case. And what we are going to do. Okay. So bait an animal, bring the animal back to the ranch. So up to level 15, I wonder what that looks like. That's going to be interesting. I've got the, do I have the bait with me? Where, where is the bait? It must have gone into here. <coughs> there, there it is. There we go. Okay. So made it work, uh, bait workbench. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let us head out. So let's go ahead and um, pop a tracker on this fella. Because I want to make sure where we're supposed to be going, right? And this would obviously be the best way of doing it. So we're going to be doing it that way. Okay. So it's telling us to go to, to the stone plateau. Okay. If I took the tracker off, just out of interest, does it still tell me to go there? It doesn't tell you to go there. But anyway, you've still got... So up to level 15. Hmm. See, I wonder if you can actually go to a, um, a higher zone to find yourself a lynx. It'll be interesting because let's quickly run over to, we'll, we'll definitely get to the stone plateau, but I quickly want to bring this back into a bit of context as well. Okay, so um, we're going to go to the naturalist camp over here and we're going to check out the, uh, the naturalist bench that they've got going on here. And then this is going to show you guys um, different animals, levels, and things like that. And hopefully that might give us a bit of context around it. But I think for the sake of the quest line, we're going to have to go down this way. And I think you guys would need to do this too. Um, but let's have a look anyway. So at least this way you guys got a bit of info here. Okay, so I've gone ahead with the with the lynx. So I'm, I'm imagining it's going to be a wildcat or a lynx at best. Uh, that's a tier four. Okay, there you go. So this is one of the baits that I had here, right? Uh, Lynx bait one, and that only allows me to get up to level 15. So I can't get anything better than that, which is... Okay, which it is what it is. But the better baits that you go with, as you can see, there's tier two, tier three. So we definitely want to upgrade that bait station in order for us to get a... Um, a better animal um, that we can go ahead and tame. I don't know whether or not later on we should be able to unlock these uh, eventually, but yeah. So with this one here, I've got a bit of a, um, this one's got a, a, a scratch and a bleed effect, effect as well. So 50 damage within three seconds. And then these guys here, these are just a slow down for three seconds. Okay, so basically when you start this quest, um, you either get the, jo the option to go down the wolf or the lynx, as um, at the timing of this video, of course, this could always change, but this is what we've got to play with at the moment. So with that being said, we're going to head back out. I'm going to head over to back to the stone plateau and we're going to find ourselves a little lynx. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, so we definitely don't want to bother with that, but we are going to head over to the uh, stone plateau here. Alrighty. I wonder if, if we can actually get ourselves... You know how there is a mature um, animal or the, you know of the similar version? If we can tame one of those, that would be a really good stepping stone. But don't see that being a possibility, but look... We shall find out. We shall find out. Might grab one of those along the way. Okay, so how do we know what it looks like? I'm, I'm interested to see. So that's just a coyote. So these aren't going to do anything for us here. 
Okay. So that's how it works. So it says it can be tamed. So the puma, ah, okay. So the puma is the mature beast here, which I can't sort of get my hands on, but that's okay. So this is going to be fun. We're going to open up the inventory. We're going to use. Ah. And you've only got a minute. Oh, okay. Because you fed it, you've only got a minute to take the pet back to the ranch. So you want to make sure that if you haven't cleared the zone, then you've just wasted that bait. Okay. So, um, yeah. So you definitely want to make sure that you have, um, either a clear the zone, gotten everything that you needed to get. And then at the end, at the end, then do the, um, the baiting for your, uh, for your new pet. That's how it works. Okay. There you go. You've got a pet. He's called Raz. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. I think I might leave it as Raz. That, that, that's a cute name. I think I'm going to leave it as Raz. Okay. Okay. The animal was tamed and is waiting in the pet house. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it as Raz. It's a male. Okay. Um, let's head over here. Unfortunately, I'm going all over the shop here, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so Henry Lee Stumble, it's the poacher. Okay. Uh, stop, please don't kill. Okay, you have a lovely pet, you know. Why is the feeder in the pet house empty? Okay, well, there you go. Put some meat. Predators love it, and I bet I better get going if you don't mind. Okay. The boss sent me after the white Cody uh, Charles, but he's not here. Boss is dangerous man, cruel, you better be aware of him. Okay, that's fine. So we can feed him. Okay, let's feed him, let's feed him, let's feed him, let's feed him, let's add. Um, okay, so appetite 100 per day, enough food for two hours. So as you can see, as you're putting more food in, this is gonna sort of um sort of determine okay how much or how long you've got your, your pets for. So it's only at three percent. Wow, okay. So you're gonna have to dump in quite a number. Of, um, of food obviously the the higher the food the better so if I dropped in a nice 20 look at that goes straight up by 10% so 13 and that's gonna last him four days before I'm gonna have to top up and feed okay so I think my advice is as you're sort of going along and you're picking up food and things like that I think a lot of this now is gonna go towards more of your pets obviously um, if you guys are grinding for basic things like um, like raw hides and things like that then um, you're gonna get a lot of meat so hang on to that meat okay um, raiding you probably want to make a, an investment to get all the raw meats that you can when you're raiding someone's camp things like that um, okay so we're gonna report the results back to Vernon so we're gonna be doing that right now and we're gonna be heading over to um, actually does do we have a section for a little pet ski <coughs> Excuse me, I don't think we do. Well, not here. Maybe they just follow us? Or do we have to tell them to come out with us? I don't know how that actually works. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, so I've got that still going, so I'm going to leave that there. Now, breeding's going to become a thing as well. Um, so, yeah, so that's going to happen later on. Um, but otherwise, for now, let's um, head over... Actually, I think I don't have enough, um, I don't have an, enough energy or, um, all right, so I'm going to grab some of that right now. I think I've got some over here, actually. Nope, not there. Am I actually out? I am actually out. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, it is what it is. Let's quickly head out. Okay. So we're gonna go over there. Let's just do it. Okay, so does it pop up here at all? No, uh, that doesn't pop up there. No, not in the wagon. Okay, does it pop up like this in the overbap? No, it does not. Okay, so I'm guessing they just randomly walk with you or they just walk with you regardless after you fed them. I don't know. But I'm guessing at the moment it's probably locked due to the quest. I'm not sure. But I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so this is a disaster. Poacher stole animals from Nature Park. A wolf and two deers. Okay, we're going to have to go into savior mode. We don't know yet 
uh, where these Skinners, uh, where these Skinners camps, she'll, uh, says the search will take a while. He's assigned guards to the nature park, now it's safer uh, here in the prairies. Okay. Joy, the park has to be populated with rare animals, save them from poaching. Yep, but we can't uh, yet lure uh, rare species, we're short on samples for the research. Okay. Eureka, what if you help us? Uh, but first, uh, let's go to my natural station. I want to show you something. Okay, let's complete that. Let's track the quest. Ooh, we got the um, the, the, the pet cans. Very good. Okay, so you can find all the animals, <coughs> excuse me, available for taming uh, and all their stats. Cool. Tap on the tab. That's basically what we sort of went through. Um, okay, so you can find a list of all the bait you learn, which is obviously this. This one here, this is the uh, learn bait recipe. Okay. For each animal uh, you bring to Vernon, your uh, research progress will move forward. To learn the next recipe, you need to fill up the progress bar up to 40. So how do we do that? So how do we do that? Interesting. So this is a progress bar. So we can learn these new meats as we go along. So I'm guessing we're going to have to um, craft the meat more potentially, or do we just bring more? Um, or do we tame more uh, pets? I don't know. I'm trying to find a new bait formula, yet there's no progress. I know it's a shame. Discoveries can't be born out of nowhere. There are not enough animals in the nature park. Okay. I can't theorize about their habitats, or sorry, their habits. This would be a generalization. I need more samples. Please bring the lured animals to me. I'll study them by observation. It'll help me to find the right formula. Okay. So I've got to unlock a new bait. So, interesting. Unlock a new bait. So I don't think you can actually use the... Um, so when you go back into a um, into another zone, I mean, obviously I've, I've only got X amount in the... Um, uh, sorry, cooking up at the moment. So in terms of bait-wise, so you don't actually have a lot of bait to speak of. So it's just telling me to unlock a new bait. So that's basically where we're at with this. So the more that we tame, the more that we um, that we give back to Vernon as part of the um, the quest line, it's going to allow us to unlock more. Oops, why did I go back in? Anyway, that's all well and good. That's all well and good. Um, so, okay, so let's just do that. So I don't know whether or not if it correlates to us upgrading the um, the actual workbench itself. That I'm not too particularly sure. But I guess for now, um, we'll have the ability to at least have two pets with us at one time. But let's quickly just go in and have a quick suss of the bait um, station to see if there's anything else that has changed. Okay, let's have a look. Okie dokie. So it's just telling us that we can craft these. So I'm, I'm guessing that we're going to need to craft a few more of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and craft all of these. It's going to take a few days in order for me to um, actually uh, get all the rest of that bait there. But let's go back and see... So our pet ski is here. How do we take him out? <laughs> I don't want to release into the wild. The pet is adapting. Oh. Okay. So he's adapting to the habitat? Or to me? Or something like that? So I've just skipped it. Oh, okay. So now you can take it with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the pet, <laughs> excuse me guys, sorry. Um, okay, so the pet is with me now. We can either leave him in the house or he comes out with us. We've got food for days, we're good with that. And then breeding's obviously gonna come later on. So that means Raz can come with us, yes? So I'm guessing 
it's going to be... Oh, okay, so we take him back. Oh, well, that makes sense. There we go. <laughs> so I had to take him out. I couldn't have just taken him out in the first place. Anyway, so it's a little bit of a back and forth, guys. So at least this way you guys know what to expect and how to expect it and what... And, you know, I guess what to do. So you, got, so you don't, um, you know, waste any energy, things like that. So at least use me as your reference point here. So let's go in. And R little Raz is coming with me. Come on, Raz. Oh, look, you got a little friend. Play with your friend, Raz. Maybe, maybe not. Can, can I interact with you? Do you pop up somewhere? I don't think you do. You don't. You don't. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, so do we have to give up the animal? Okay, so bring animals to the nature park reserves and research new types. Uh, select the animal will progress research by 15. Oh. I kind of like Raz. Well, look, for the purpose of the, of the video, guys, I'm going to give up Raz. I won't be able to take it back, so you've got to be careful when you do this, okay? So let's go ahead and give the animal. The animal was given to the Nature's Park. Research progress is plus 15. Okay, so bring animals so I can learn more about the baits that are waiting. Okay, so let's go back here. Now, let's go to the baits you can see the progress bar. Okay, so that, that all makes sense. So in order for you guys to continue progressing and getting better baits, which will then in turn allow you to unlock a better bait, so on and so forth. And then you can get a, a better level, um, uh, you know, uh, pet. In this case for me, it's gonna be a lynx. Um, this will allow you to um, uh, acquire those over time. So that's going to be a bit of a grind, okay? So, and only I say that because at the moment we only have a, a maximum capacity of two uh, pets at one given time that we can house in the pet house effectively. So if you're wanting to keep one, for example, then what that would mean is you're only going to be able to have one and train that up, so to speak. And then you're going to have to use the other ones as, I guess, sacrifices to the research. So that's basically how that's going to work. Um, unless if you're at the moment, if you're just going to, um, uh, what do you call it? If you're just going to um, just submit, the, uh, submit, you know, multiple pets as much as you can, as quickly as you can, then that's obviously going to be better you guys. And then that's going to allow you to find better lynxes or pets, sorry. Um, further down the line and then that way you can invest your time and effort with that specific pet and then that pet can be your main pet if that makes sense hopefully that sort of made a little bit more uh, sense to the situation so for me yes I did um, hop our unfortunate um, Raz to the um, to the research but that's obviously going to get me a better bait that, and then in turn that's going to get me a better links further going forward so that, uh, that will enable me to get a level 2 links for example okay uh, up to level 35 much better than say up to level 15 and then you go um, and then that's basically how that's going to work right and then as you can see these baits are the only ones that you can use for say that one for the Canada links right and then so on and so forth <coughs> excuse me until you get to the southern links and then that's going to be a level five and you can only use level four so what this means is you can only go up to uh 75 and then up to level 95 depending on the type of bait that you've got so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense and hopefully you guys um, will use this and use this video as a bit of a, a referencing point because I know it's going to take some time for everyone else to get the, the bowls necessarily needed for um, creating the pet house to unlock all of this to begin with. So yeah, hopefully this will you guys will be able to circle back to this video and you'll be able to um, uh, use this as a bit of a guide. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and how you see the progression of your pets, um, you know, will um, will evolve over time. Yes, breeding will become a thing. 
you will be able to upgrade your, your pet house to um, harbour more animals and that's obviously going to take time, you're going to need bowls and things like that so that's going to be the biggest roadblock but make sure you guys hit the like button down below, comment down below, share if you can, that'll be helpful. If you guys aren't uh, already subscribed to the channel, be sure that you guys are and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy and I will catch you guys in the next one.